Now I am going to show you the system of e equations example. First thing, what is given here? Test for consistency and if it is consistent then find the solution for the system of equations. They will give you the three system of equations or four system of equations. They can give you any number of simultaneous equation. What is the first step? You need to write it in the matrix form. The given system of equations you have to write it in the matrix form. So let a is equals to what is the coefficient of x here 1 coefficient of y will be 1 and the coefficient of z is 1 similarly for the next equation 2 1 minus 1 you need to take the coefficients of the variables x y and z you will write it in the matrix form and what about for the last equation 4 minus 1 2 so, I have taken the given system of linear equations as a matrix form. Now, the argumented matrix is the argumented matrix A, B is equals to you will write the matrix along with the right hand side of the linear equations. So, what is it? 1 1 1 and for the first equation what is the right hand side 3 and what about the next equation 2 1 minus 1 and what is the right hand side of the equation 2 and the last one 4 minus 1 2 and what is the right hand side of the last equation 5. So, what is our aim to check for consistency? We need to check whether the rank of A and the rank of the argumented matrix A, B is equal or not. If it is equal, then we say that it is consistent. If it is not equal, then we say that it is not consistent. It is inconsistent. So, first I am going to find the rank of a matrix for the argument matrix A, B find rank of a comma b so again step 1 what is step 1 as i told you while explaining the rank of a matrix you need to make the below the diagonal element should be 0 so, what is below the diagonal elements of the matrix here? 2, 4, minus 1. You need to make these 3 elements as zeros. Only the 3 elements should be 0. We call this as below the diagonal elements. So, how will you make it as 0? By using the first row and the second row. First, I am going to write it as R3 is equals to R3 minus 4 R1. So, I am going to make changes only in the last row. The first row and the second row should be written as it is. 1, 1, 1, 3, 2, 1, minus 1, 2. Now, 4 minus 4. 4 minus 4 will give you 0. And then again for the next one, minus 1 minus 4 will give you minus 5 and for the next one 2 and 1 for this you will get it as minus 2 and for the last one 5 minus 12 which will give you minus 7. So in the first step we have got the first element of the third, third row is 0. Now step 2. First element of the second row has to be made 0. So, R2 is equals to R2 minus 2 R1. So, from this what do you get? First row will be written as it is 1, 1, 1, 3 and the next row will be 2 minus 2 will give you 0 and for the next one 1 minus 2 which will give you minus 1 
and for the next one minus 1 minus 2 will give you minus 3 and for the last one 2 minus 6 will give you minus 4 and the third row will be written as it is no more no changes should be made for the first and the third only for the second row we have made the changes so 0 minus 5 minus 2 minus 7 now you can see that we we have made the first second and the third row as 0 students will always make a mistake that after finding out the third row immediately they will move on to the second element of the third row no you will not get the answer when you go for the same row step by step you have to do it first the third row to be made 0 and the second row to be made 0 then only again you will move on to the third row so the step 3 will be second element of the third row what is the second element minus 5 has to be made 0 so how will you make it by using the second row not by using the first row you by using the second row you will make it as 0 so r3 is equals to r3 minus 5 r2 this will be 1 1 1 3 0 minus 1 minus 3 minus 4 and the last row will be 0 you can see 5 minus 5 will give you 0 and again when you simplify this you will get it as 10 minus 15 will give you 13 and then here also you will get it as 13 now have we got the below the diagonal elements as 0 you can see this by upper triangular matrix 0 0 0 now we have to write the rank of the argumented matrix rank of argumented matrix that is a comma b what is the rank of argumented matrix whatever we have done all these steps that is the rank of a argumented matrix now from this you can see how many non-zero rows are here 1 2 3 3 non-zero rows therefore we can say that the rank is 3 here what is it since the non-zero rows are 3 therefore the rank of the argumented matrix a comma b is equals to 3 now we need to find the rank of a how will you find the rank of a by deleting the last column of the argumented matrix what is it that is first i will write the matrix 1 1 1 0 minus 1 minus 3 0 0 13 this is the transformed matrix from this we need to write the rank of a therefore here how many non-zero rows are here again 3 you can see 3 is the rank here therefore r of a is equals to 3 so from this we can say that rank of a comma b which is equals to rank of a therefore the solution is consistent when will you say that the solution is inconsistent when this is not equal when the rank of argumented matrix is not equal to rank of a then we say that the solution is inconsistent here this is both are equal so we can say that the solution is consistent so what is the rank of the argumented matrix you have got it here non-zero rows as 3 and here also the rank is 3 so if both are equal then we say that the solution is inconsistent if it is not inconsistent you will leave it as it is but here it is consistent 
in that case you need to find the solution how will you find the solution for the system of linear equation from the transformed matrix what is the transformed matrix here this is the transformed matrix from the last step whatever we have got it as the matrix that is the reduced matrix which is nothing but the transformed matrix from this we can say that from last row from last row we can write 13 z is equals to 13 which is nothing but see from the last row we can take this as 13 z is equals to 13 so z is equals to 13 by 13 which will give you 1 so therefore the z value is 1 here and similarly what is the next one from the second row from the second row from the second row we can say that minus y minus 3z which is equals to minus 4 now substituting the value of substituting the value of z in the above equation we can get the value of y so what do you get minus y minus 3 into substitute the value of z that is 1 which is equals to minus 4 so minus y minus 3 when you bring it to the other side you will get it as minus 4 plus 3 which is nothing but minus 1 minus and minus gets cancelled therefore y is equals to 1 now you have got the value for y and z now finally you need to get the value for x from the first row so how will you get it from the first row we can write it as x plus y plus z which is equals to 3 now substitute the value of y and z so from this we will get it as x plus what is the y value 1 here and what is the z value 1 so 1 plus 1 which is equals to 3 so x is equals to 3 minus 2 which will give you 1 therefore the solution is the solution is x is equals to 1 y is equals to 1 and z is equals to 1 so when will you get these solutions only when the system of equations is consistent when it is not consistent that is when it is inconsistent then you will not get even a single solution